But you can't have a free society if the media is dishonest. When the founders fought for the right to have free media, they anticipated that there should always be a majority of the media who would be willing to expose media who were dishonest. But we're living in a dangerous time when what used to be called the mainstream media is anything but honest, and that was played out before our very eyes and ears as Project Veritas had uh, a CNN, um, well, as this article says, a CNN head, uh, but he had leadership, and he admitted quite a great deal about the abuses of CNN, the manipulativeness of CNN. Uh, this article from the Epic Times, uh, which, by the way, is under fire from the Chinese Communist Party. Um, so since this administration seems to side with the Chinese Communist Party a great deal, they may be coming after the Epic Times the way the um, Chinese Communist Party is. But uh, we'll wait and see if that happens. But this story, uh, dated April 14th, is a CNN head has personally intervened to order the cable network staff to display the number of people who have died from COVID-19 in the broadcast, according to CNN technical director, who was caught on hidden camera making the comments. The goal was to boost ratings, the director said, explaining Fear really drives numbers and is the thing that keeps you tuned in. That's rather tragic. Uh, you know, a former segregationist president named Democrat, named Franklin D. Roosevelt, had said quite eloquently, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. And uh, he was right that that should be a big concern, but what we're hearing from the undercover tape is that CNN sees fear as the best way to increase ratings. So um, another article from Gateway Pundit, uh, CNN director caught on hidden camera saying the network is trying to help BLM by only pushing stories that implicate white people. Well, that's unfortunate. What that shows is that CNN doesn't mind being racist. Um, it's very unfortunate. We would stir up that kind of animosity, have a major news network, or what used to be a major news network, CNN, uh, pushing racist divides.